Live from the two good excuse my uh, excuse my pronunciation. The Duda headquarters. It's the it's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Close, but no cigar. Yeah. Um It's the Insane Board Game Freak Show with your host, Midi Insane Board Game Freak. Yo, come on, story, buddy. <laughs> Unleash your creature powers in this episode Wild Crafts, the second edition. Race around the world game. The board game. Quick. To the board game room. I know I had a little trouble over there. It's a different angle today. Fine. You want to see me do a classic? Nothing could beat classic. Insane board game freak show, your host, me, the insane board game freak, your commands, gory body. Dun, 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 dun. Live from the Tuga headquarters. It means turtle in Spanish. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Please excuse my improper pronunciation. I mean, well, it's the insane board game freak show, your host, me, the insane board game freak, your commands, gory body. <laughs> Unleash your creature powers. In this episode, oh, I'm over here now. Switching the angle for. What are you switching the angle for? Want to confuse me or something? Ruin my show? <laughs> Get out of here. Get. Get out of here. I'm sorry. You gotta go. The, the door's that way. No, not to the board game room. You're not going to the board game room. I'm going to the board game room, okay? And why am I pointing at you? Because that's the way I talk. I'm sorry if I'm confusing things. You're not going to the board game room. I'm going to the board game room. I got a show to do. We can't do this right now. Exit. Stage. Yeah, it actually is stage left for you. Snaggle puss. Now, come on, let's go. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Goodbye. Okay, thank you. Uh, what the hell was I doing again? Oh, yeah, that's right. In this episode, race around the world. Wild crafts. Now I gotta do it all over again. <laughs> and never mind, I'm, I'm not gonna do it. In this episode... Wild Crafts Race Around the World Game Second Edition The, the Board Game Second Edition See how to do it twice because it's the second edition Quick To the Board Game Room I could have been done with this episode already about this guy but I know you love the entertainment. Oh, come on. I know you love my stupid jokes and my weird, twisted sense of humor. I'm nuts. All right, maybe we'll do this from now on over here like this. When I, when I give you my... Uh, my final thoughts about the game, the change of the scenery a little bit. I mean, you know, it's great. I got the closet door over there, the stack of board games. And look, Batman, uh, what is that? What kind of Batman was that again? Oh, yeah, Funko Pop. You know, it's cool. Cool, Daddy-O, uh, Mommy-O. To the board game. <laughs> And look, everybody's got that closet door. I mean, all my board gaming friends that have their own YouTube shows, too, have that closet door. And a stack of board games over there. Where's my hand? Oh, there it is. So, uh, I, I, I might as well... Hey, you can't beat them. Join them. I'm so sick and twisted. To the board game room. 
All right, we're at the board game room. Wait, no, we're not yet. You gotta face the table and the game on the table to be in the board game room. Everybody knows that. Shut up, you sick, twisted buffoon, and put on the board game show in the board game room. I am. And you stop talking about it then? Oh, God, man. Please just leave me alone. No, just do, do what? Embarrass myself and for everybody in the whole entire world? Like, I really care. Look, just get to the board game room, sick, twisted buffoon. All right, man who likes to make up mean rapping um, rhymes with, about me. What rap? It's a rap with you if you don't stop it. Okay, I'm going to the board game room. Son of a paradise. You got some paradise, you know, rolling around. Telling me what to do like this. I don't think they're waiting for this to, to end. They want this show to end with the game being played and you giving the instructions about this game, Wildcrats. Can we do this now, please? Everybody's waiting. <clears throat> Sorry, folks. Um, I'm, I'm going to get to the board game. <laughs> Would you stop it? Stop picking your nose. <sighs> All right, here we go. It's Wild Kratz Race Around the World game. The board game. Second edition. Okay, now in this game, you're going to get all these... You get this board here. This game board. There's the Tugger headquarters. That means turtle, Spanish, and Espanol. So now you get all these um, play market pieces here. You get Koki, uh, Martin. Uh, sorry, I don't have my glasses. I don't even have glasses. Aviva. Aviva. <laughs> cool, man. Yeah, Aviva. That's a cool name. Chris. <laughs> Sorry, I have trouble pronouncing that name, Chris. Meanwhile, I got some friends that are named Chris. What the hell is wrong with me? All right, anyway, never mind all that. Um, You're going to get this, um, the box, of course. Yes, the box. You're going to get the instructions. Of, you're not supposed to be shown the instructions. You're supposed to make it look like you know how to play the game. <laughs> Dumbass. Uh, anyway, um, you're gonna get the, and this bag, you don't keep the bag here. You put that backstage. Man. Maybe you should go rap about it then. Well, I'll make up some cool rhymes about me kicking your boob. If you don't stop it and just do the show. Alright, I told you it's gonna be a rap with you. In the board game room, if you don't stop it. Jeez, man. Anyway. So you're going to get these cards here, right? And they're all going to match the player markers that are, uh, you know, their they're, uh, they're spaces here. Like, you know, you're going to get creature power discs, okay? Okay, so now um, you're going to stack them up. And then on both sides, the same thing on both sides. And you have put them over here on the round spaces, all right? So everybody's going to, when they pass by or land on it, they grab it. This game took me like two hours to play with a friend of mine because, uh, what do you call it? We didn't know. We read the instructions, but we forgot that every time you pass by, you take a card. And then, um, I'll explain it. it it's a long story. It took me two hours, so, to realize that. But anyway. Okay, so I don't want to waste any more time, you know, what you hear me babbling and about me with the board game setting it up and stuff and, you know, Cursing myself out and yelling at myself while I'm trying to put together the board game and me interrupting everybody. I don't curse at myself. I'm only kidding. But um, you're going to get the spinner here. Swipe. Okay. No, wrong show. No swiping, no swiping. That That's a different show. Uh, anyway, um, so you're going to get these tokens. You're going to put the round tokens in the round spaces, okay? You mix these cards, shuffle them up. But I just thought it'd be cool just to, you know, uh, just... I don't know. I shuffled them up. <laughs> I was good. To... Yeah, yeah, you're supposed to shuffle them up. <laughs> anyway, what the hell am I talking about? All right, so you shuffle the cards and you put all the cards here. All right, now these are your, these are like they, they transform into, into creatures. Okay, around the around the world. 
you need play marker pieces, right? You're going to start and finish here at the Tuga headquarters, okay? So everybody starts here. All right, you set them all up. Now, uh, you're going to use this spinner here and then spin a spinner. Hyrule goes first. And then uh, people uh, that pl are playing the game, uh, they go the amount of spaces that they need to do. No, people that are washing the dishes, Vincent, they, they wash that amount of dishes that they spun on the spinner. What do you think? Okay. So, um, you're going to... Uh, the object of the game is be the first player to collect a, a creature power suit card from each of the four habitats and get back to Tortuga headquarters, okay? So what we did by mistake was that I kept on, we kept on going around until we found um, a suit uh, of every single, you know, animal or creature. Never mind me. I'm just talking about the wrong stuff. I should be just explaining instructions. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, yeah, Mother Scars Bucket, you should. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> before we rant and rave and leave bad comments down below. <laughs> All right, so set up. Okay, so you're gonna be, um, yeah, you're setting yourself up for that one. For what one? Never mind. Place the creature power. This okay, like that. Play in the game. Youngest player goes first. Oh, okay, high right though. High spinner goes first. Anyway, and pick a player to go first, and then play pass it to the left. On each turn, a player spins a spinner and moves the number of spaces shown on the path. Along the path in a clockwise direction. Okay, so you're going around that way. Now you're going to notice that there's different spaces. This is cool. Catch a ride. Okay, so if you catch a ride, you're just going to go to the next catch a ride space going around clockwise around the board. Okay, for, tra for faster traveling. Okay, for transportation. All right, so now, but if you land on these spaces, well, then that stinks because uh, you're distracted by a baby panda because it's so cute. And you got to move back three spaces, one, two, three, to look at the cute little thing. Okay? Oh, he's so cute. Look how cute these pandas are. Oh, I'm getting distracted already. See, I can't be talking about the baby panda, folks. I got to be telling you how to play the board game. The board game. The second edition. I don't have the first edition. I couldn't find it, but anyway. Anyway, so... Collecting creature power suits, okay? Now, when you're going around the board, when players land on or are about to pass the space in each habitat that holds a creature power suit, okay? Players must stop on that space, okay? Unless they already have their creature power suit from that habitat. Like that one, that one, you know, that one. There's four habitats, all right? Okay. It's four different habitats. And players must stop in that space unless they already have their creature power suit from that habitat. Now, players pick up the creature power suit that matches their character and end their turn. So, like, let's just say, for example, I'm Martin, right? And then, um, you read it. Now, wow, fast, cool. They even got facts in the back of these cards. Cool. Pandas can eat more than 25 pounds of bamboo every day and can spend more than 12 hours each day eating. <laughs> if they can imagine how much sushi I can eat at the Chinese buffet or at the sushi uh, all-you-can-eat restaurants, man, I'd be on the back of one of these cards, too. I'd be eating more than uh, 25 pounds of sushi every day, and I could spend more time, 12 than 12 hours, probably in the bathroom, than the board game room, giving reviews about these board games. Anyway, so now... Um, players may not collect other players' creature power suits, okay? Um, players who have already collected their creature power suit from that habitat do not have to stop there, okay? They count this as a space, one space, as a regular space, and continue along the path, all right? So now, um, so players pick up the creature suit that matches their character and then end their turn, all right? So now, um, collecting creature power discs. Now, you're going to notice there's power discs there. Now, in, in each habitat, there are spaces that hold creature power discs. And when players finish their move on a creature power disc space by exact count, they collect the creature power disc for that habitat. Players are allowed to collect more than one creature power disc from habitats. All right? Swipe. Now, you're going to get these swipe spaces there. You get to swipe 
a creature power disc for somebody. So players can also collect creature power discs by finishing their move on a swipe space. All right. So now uh, when you land on a swipe space or by spinning a swipe space, you get to collect, uh, 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 you know, swipe a, a creature power disc from any other of your opponents playing the game with you. Okay. So now, for example, like uh, swipe spaces, uh, they allow players to either take any one creature power disc from any other player or take one any one creature power disc from any habitat on the game board. So you can just take from here or take from your opponent. That's it. All right. So now, um, combining creature power suits and creature power discs. Okay. So now, China Power Path. So you can go there. Or Ocean Power Path. So go there. So if you have a... Every time you, when, when you have a power disc, you can use it and go across. Okay. So combining creature power suits and creature power discs. Okay, so now once a player has collected a creature power suit, okay, um, and a creature power disc, okay, from a habitat, they can use the power path that begins in that habitat. Power paths are shortcuts to move around the game board faster. So if you have this card, an orange card, or a purple card and a purple disc or whatever. You get what I'm saying. And then all of a sudden you got this and that. You can combine them together. And then when you land on this space. Travel to the next spot over here. Following this lightning bolt space. All right. And you can just beam yourself right there. Like beam me up Scotty and, and Star Trek. You know what I'm saying. All right. So now. uh, So that, that takes care of that. But they have to match that space. You got to have two that match together. A disc that matches the card and vice versa that matches that card's space. You got me, Chief and Chief, de chief Dets? All right, Chief Fets, whatever. All right, so now, um, what do you call it? Um, so players who, ha who already have that can take power pads shortcuts to move around the game board faster, all right? Now, players who have already collected their creature power suit and a creature power disc from a habitat can use the power path in that habitat and whenever they reach it. So whenever they reach it, they can just use it. That's it. So when these players reach the power path space, they can, at their option, use the power path shortcut. Okay? And that's it. So now using the power path counts as one space. If a player reaches a power path space but does not have any other moves left, his or her turn is over. And he or she may use the power pad space on his or her next turn. Okay, so players may only move on power pads in one direction, starting on a power pad space and ending on another space. Okay, now special spaces on the game board. All right, so swipe. Okay, now I just told you, swipe means when players finish their move by exact count on a swipe space, they are allowed to either take any uh, uh, one creature that power disc from any other player or take any uh, one creature power disc from any other habitat on the game board. Players who lose all their creature power discs from a habitat are no longer able to use the power paths in that habitat. And you will lose them because people will be grabbing from you. You know, the power, um, the creature power discs. Okay. So now when you land on this space here, directional space, to give you direction of what to do, you know, move back, forward, you know, move back or move forward when player. okay, when players finish their moves by exact count, you're going to move on a, a move space, and they must immediately move forward and follow directions or move forward or backward along the path, the number of spaces indicated, and they then follow the instructions for the space they land on, okay? Now, um, catch a ride, I told you about before, so now... Catch a ride when players finish their move by exact count on a catch a ride space. They must immediately move to another catch a ride space following along the next one. So now here, the next one would be here. So you would go to that one. And then from that one, you go to that one. You know, clockwise. You follow it along clockwise. And that's it. So the first player to get there and get to do that. Okay, so now they must immediately move to another catch a ride space. Now, if the, they pass a creature power suit space while moving from one catch a ride space to another, uh, they do not stop to collect that creature power suit. You can only collect the creature power suit if you land on it by exact count or if you pass by it 
regular way okay now um switch okay so you get switch spaces all right so now that just means when players finish their move by exact count on a switch base they must switch locations on the game board with another player okay and that's pretty much basically it winning the game as soon as a player has collected all four of his or her characters creature power suits from each habitat all right you gotta get it make a uh uh, uh um a dash to the finish um tatuga headquarters space to win and that's pretty much basically it so as soon as a player has collected all four of his or her character cr characters creature power suits that player should begin to move toward tatuga headquarters at the start finish space okay and um now the first player to get to Tatuga headquarters with all four of his or her character's creature power suits is the winner. Players with all four of their creature power suits stop as soon as they reach Tortuga headquarters, even if they have moves remaining, okay? You don't have to get there by exact count. So when players reach Tortuga headquarters without all four of their character's cre creature power suits, try saying that three times fast, they count start, finish area, that space, as one space and continue moving along the game. And that's pretty much basically it. And that's Wild Kratts. Okay, race around the world game. The, the board game. Alright. Unleash the creature powers. Second edition. Now, let's go see what I think about the game. Alright, so. Final thoughts. Now, what do I think about this game? What? What I thought we were gonna I told you we're gonna do it this angle over here. That's right, that's it. Nicey nice. Get the nice closet in there. Everybody's got that closet. You know that. You've been doing this for for for, for a year now. It's almost the anniversary of the show. April seventh. And then uh, now if you don't know how to do things the right way, come on. What do I think about this game? Wow, 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 wow. I like this game. It's a nice, cool, fun game and uh I think it's a pretty cool game. I like the other angle, though. You're really, you're really ticking me off. I thought I told you to go. Man, no wonder why they call it the Insane Board Game Freak Show. What, you host me? The Insane Board Game Freak. Yo, come on, story, buddy. This guy's sick. I am not. Shut up. Just... Okay. All right. So, final thought. Do it over again. All right, so, final thoughts. Now, what do I do with this game? Wow, 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 wow. I like this game. This game's pretty cool. It's great for kids and to play with the family and everything. Um, uh, the, the, the spinner is great. I like the spinner. <laughs> Going around in spaces, that are you spinning? And the swipe, that swipe part's pretty cool because everybody takes tokens from you and, you know, or you can take tokens from other players in the game. Uh, this this game takes a while with two players. It, it took me two hours because I forgot the rules. I didn't know. I thought it's a long story, but two hours worth. I don't want to explain it to, to you. I don't think you had the time. I want to hear me rant and rave about the two hours I spent playing this game. But it was fun. I almost fell asleep, and um, you know, because I had work the next day, and I'm still playing the game, and it's twelve thirty in, in the middle of the night. Anyway, so. The, the game's cool though. It is a fun game. I like it a lot. It's it's cool. It's it's um a really easy easy simple spin and move game to play. You're just collecting all four cards from each habitat, getting back to finish, and that's it. But you get left back a lot with especially that one part that you land on over here. You gotta like go back three spaces. There are some spots where you just land on them and you gotta go back three spaces and get repetitive. You know you're gonna land that space because all of a sudden you're like hesitant about spinning because you don't want to spin. And land on that spot, you know, in space. But it is pretty cool. The cartoon's a cool, you know, educational show, I guess, you know. I don't watch it, but um, I, I've, I've heard about it. All new. Animals, creature, power suits. Wow. Facts. Habitats to explore. In this episode, I gotta go. I wanna play a, a few rounds of this game. This game's really cool. I like this game a lot. It's fun. If you see it at a thrift shop, pick it up. I saw it at Walmart for like, you know few bucks or something like that so i picked it up it's pretty cool i'm glad i did it's a nice game well that's wild Kratz, race around the world game unleash your creature power second edition the game the board game
That's it for today, my little This game is over. Board game freak out. Over here at this angle. Stop. Wait, wait till I. Um, I'm just stop the tape. We're done. Oh. Duh. Um, we're done.